Stop! Please! Holy shit. Hey, what's up? This is Community Service with Greg Conan. That's me. Are we rolling? We are rolling. Oh, <laughs> man. Hey, what's up? This is Community Service with Craig Conan. <laughs> How you doing, you I goddamn lesbian? <laughs> you look... <laughs> we can't talk like this anymore. No, you can't. But you look... Uh, you, you started off as an Irish man when I met you, and now you're turning into an English woman. I know. Not that there's anything wrong with that. There is to me. That's a Seinfeld quote. It <laughs> 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 is to me. <laughs> Um, I used to have like lovely hair and I was just going away. The bad thing is, this like, so yesterday I got a cut and this girl, oh, I'm rambling already. We've just started. Hey, it's my <laughs> podcast. Yeah, I know, yeah. <laughs> no. Go ahead. You go, we're talking about, we're making fun of your hair and your appearance and your look. Yeah. So like, she was like, oh, let me fix your hair. Cause it used to be so long. Like, not, it probably was yours, but mine was curly. So it curled yeah, up. Yeah. Yeah. It bunched up in the back and yeah. it looked like a nice, wet Irish mullet. <laughs> yeah. But you like, did it before Theo, I think. Yeah. Right? It was like yeah. full on. And Theo then, uh, has a mullet. I'm, uh, I don't think mine was a mullet, <laughs> but I thought mine was stunning. Yours was like that nice Lionel Richie, uh, white version, Jerry <laughs> yeah. Curl, wet bottom. But Why then do- this girl was like, I used to get bad. I haven't got a good haircut ever in my life. <laughs> I believe you. you. You're a train wreck. Yeah. You remind me of the way that I used to be. And I always tell you, you got to change something. <laughs> That's you what I'm trying to change, change my hair. Yeah, well that, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking your overall DNA and energy. <laughs> no, I do the outside. The inside, I'll just let it rot away. Did you <laughs> ever get uh, mistaken for a woman? Oh, yeah, all the time. Yeah, me too. Like, all the time. I was at a concert before. What's her name? KT or something? Perry? No, no, it was like this <laughs> lesbian singer. LP, all right? If you Google her, yeah. that's who I used to look like. Yeah. And I was at her concert. No, she was playing, and there was like five bands. And this woman came up to me after, and she was like, I just want to say I really enjoyed your performance. And I was like, what do you want about it? <laughs> <laughs> Did you see me perform? She was like, tonight you were great up there. Yeah. I was like, I'm, not a like woman. Uh, I, I'm a man, and I've been in the audience the whole time. <laughs> Never set foot on stage. But when I was growing up in Ireland, I used to have hair like this, but like I used to make it blondish, because I don't know why, and people used to call me Ellen. Yeah. Or Big Bird. Ellen? <laughs> yeah. Like Ellen? Yeah. Like Ellen's the a blondie. Bird. Yeah, but I used to like bleach the tips. Oh, it all makes sense, Ellen. Yeah. You sorry. son of a bitch. You, uh... I know it's bad. I'm scared to talk about this, but I, 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 <laughs> here we go, man. Yeah, there goes my career. <laughs> I find it uh funny how, like you said, okay, the... I don't even... I'm scared to even say the terminology, but the uh, transgender community and how... uh how, first of all, I want to just fucking stay. Do whatever the fuck you want. I don't care. Whatever you want me to call you, cool. I'll do it. But also, uh, maybe don't be so goddamn sensitive when we get the wrong shit, you know? <laughs> I fucking can't even pronounce words that I know how to say, you know? <laughs> and uh, I called the Pacific Ocean the specific ocean the other day. <laughs> really? So I might fuck up on your gender. Don't get mad at me. There's no uh malicious intent or uh, or, yeah. or you know what I mean? Just and dumbness. What I wanted to get at is is like uh what I would think would help is just uh be you look at you're smirking at me like what's it gonna <laughs> say? <laughs> what's it gonna say? <laughs> no, I, I, what I'm just saying is uh maybe what would help the movement is just uh, have a sense of humor about it. Like if if somebody were to call you the wrong gender, would it be like, you know, maybe uh, correct them. <laughs> uh, we're gonna edit all this out. <laughs> oh fuck! No, correct them, but also be like, yeah, I I do look like a a football player. No, all right, that's that's too far. <laughs> Okay, maybe we'll, <laughs> we're just gonna edit this part out. No, this has. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm trying to get no, at is, I got long hair, and I worked at Trader Joe's for many years, and I got mistaken uh, for a woman. And uh, you know what I did? I laughed because it's funny. Who cares? Uh, yeah. I didn't yeah. go. I'm a man. But I but 
yesterday when people were mocking my haircut at the start, I was like, ha ha ha, but also I was like, you motherfucker. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to get you. If you're sensitive to it, then put it to us, we don't care because we're like, yeah. We're comics. It's comedy. I remember this one time I was uh, just stalking the shelves of Trader Joe's and there was this one wino, Tyler, this old motherfucker. He just fucking, we, he would buy four cases of Dr. Beckerman's sweet German <laughs> shit wine. Four cases. Oh, and really? he was just popping pills. He was a pill that? head. Twelve, but I'm just saying, he used to drink sh- fucking sugar wine. It's disgusting. Really? At least get a fucking Cabernet, dude. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I don't even know what that is. <laughs> it, it's It's just... He, I don't know. He would, okay, uh, you like alcohol. He would drink puckers, you know? I don't know what that is either. Uh, Midori. <laughs> you fucking <laughs> Irish immigrant. <laughs> he doesn't know anything. Just sugar, sweet, sweet, oh, really? sweet liqueur. Like oh, something yeah, yeah, yeah. that you go, that yeah. you. Like you Bailey's. Can, like Bailey's. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you had to bring that. <laughs> yeah, there we fucking go. Fucking guy, we're in America. <laughs> 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 Anyways, uh, he one day I'm my hair down and no hat and I'm stocking the shelves and he goes, "Excuse me, miss. Excuse me, miss." And I turn around with my beard and he just goes, "Oh!" <laughs> and he just starts fucking. And I mean that old man smoker pill popper uh, junkie yeah. laugh like, "Oh!" <laughs> and I can't even help but to start laughing. He goes, "I thought you were a woman," <laughs> and uh, it was just funny, man. I guess that's my whole point. La- <laughs> laughing at uh, that is, being, is uh, uh, being called is a woman. better than being. Uh, oh yeah, big time. Oversensitive. Plus, I kind of do have a granny head. I took a photo last night, and yeah, I was just, do. I was just like, ah, this is a great photo. It was at the comedy store, but then my head is just like, oh, the, you mean the. Uh, the photo with you and all the heavy hitters where you look like a dumb fucking Irish <laughs> dumb. grandmother. Yeah. Can you just smile, you I asshole? Try. He's like this. That's every, the problem. Every photo he's ever in. Oh, uh, yeah. It's like, there, that's I should not tell a you. smile. No, this... I Yeah, see, you can smile. I know why I can't smile. I keep figuring You're it out. You're self-conscious of it. Yeah, but I know why. Because you got made fun of as a child for it. Yeah, yeah, but it's actually a funny story why. Going oh, deep. and it t- ties into what you were just on about. Um, transgender, kind of. Oh, man. This episode. <laughs> this is already a slippery <laughs> slope. <laughs> Our career ended before it ever began. <laughs> so, all right. When I was like maybe 13, I was in a school choir in Ireland. So, we used to get out of class. So, I was like, yeah, I, I was able to sing. But like, oh, baby, Maria, that kind yeah. of stuff. So for some reason our choir was good and we went on like TV singing and we went at Christmas and like I had a solo or something. We were on TV. I remember it was roasting in the studio. So I had a big red head and like puffy and then I had a solo and I was singing like, ha ah. <laughs> and I came home and I was so happy. I was like, Gran, did you see me on TV? And she was like, I did. You look very fat in the face. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said to me. And I was like, huh, I'm fat. <laughs> so then, and then she was like, why are you wearing my clothes too? <laughs> they told us to wear like a black top, just like a black t-shirt or something. But I thought I was going to look like a French poet or something. <laughs> so I went into my dad's closet <laughs> and I took out like a turtleneck. And I was like, ah, oh, this is going to look so cool. But I didn't realize that it was my grand's turtleneck. <laughs> <laughs> So I was on TV and it had shoulder pads, <laughs> but I just assumed that like, I was like, that's what grown up clothes have. Yeah. So I was on TV. I was like, oh, I'm a grand vestite. Yeah. <laughs> but then after that, every time I looked in the mirror, I was like, fuck it, I have a fat face. So I go like this. <laughs> and now every time someone's like, pause, I'm like. You're better off <clears throat> just doing nothing. You know, whatever that's you're doing. That's me doing nothing. No, mouth that's open. you doing something. <laughs> Yeah, that's how I can't smile. I still can't smile. Should we go back to the, to what we were talking about? Um, I'm scared because I, I forgot to say something. Because a, a coworker of ours at our, uh, I don't work there anymore, but at Trader Joe's transitioned from a woman to a man when we were working with him. Yeah, and I would always because uh, I, I knew him as a her for uh, years, you know. Oh, yeah. So I, I for four years I know you. 
as she and now and then I'm fucking a dumb dumb and <laughs> and I'm not intentionally trying to hurt your feelings, but I would uh call him I can't I'm still half in the <laughs> correct it right now, still to this day. But the whole point of this story is he's dope as fuck and I would always fuck up the uh the the gender, the terminology, whatever. And then uh, he finally went, you know what? Just call me Poo Poo Boy. <laughs> and I was like, I'll never forget that, man. And uh, from there on out, every time I see him, I'm like, Poo Poo Boy! Because I couldn't get it right. Yeah, that's funny. And that's awesome. And uh, That's in your yeah, wheelhouse, too. That's in my wheelhouse. I was like, I'll never fucking... He knew. He was like, just... just the, you, you know, the first time they're... Like, no, that's not right anymore. And I'm like, ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. You know, they know I'm not doing it intentionally. Yeah, it's just, yeah, I'm yeah. just, You're cool, I did man. drugs, cool, motherfucker. <laughs> and, uh, but then the, she's like, what? Well, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, see, I can't fucking. He was like, uh, what will he understand? And then uh, he went, <laughs> he looks like a poo boy. And then uh, from there on out. I've made one mistake and it was right now on the podcast. Since l- the poopo boy. I love when I love when you start talking and no one else is talking and you start panicking and you I can't up. help it. I always feel like I'm doing something it's like wrong. You're driving <laughs> off towards a cliff and you're like, ah shit. With this fucking society we live in. Every every word Sometimes I'm just it's like, not oh, even that? that. Sometimes it's just, oh, no, just you're me leading the conversation and everyone's looking at you. And I'm like, oh, oh <laughs> where am I steering this? Off a cliff. Yeah, that happens to me in life every single day. Every conversation I have, I'm like, I've been talking too long. Am I making sense? Did I fuck up words and sentences? Do they think I'm stupid? <laughs> Odds are yes. Okay, I'll just get quiet and stare into space now. That happens all the time, every day of my life. Oh, it's so funny. To I see. live in my head. There's a war of anxiety <laughs> going on. And it's real healthy. It's real healthy. I just like to be alone with my plants. <laughs> <laughs> they don't make fun of me. Anyways. You know, there's no anxiety in Ireland. <laughs> there's no anxiety in Ireland? I, no, no one says that word. It's well, all they, like Catholic guilt. Oh, which is just shame. another word <laughs> yeah, of anxiety. Know, yeah. We don't but, have anxiety. We just have guilt and shame and we live <laughs> in our minds. Well, that's anxiety, dude. No, because I feel like anxiety, uh, like, I didn't realize one a buddy was like, yeah, I got to go to the pharmacy, the chemist. What, what you call it here? Pharmacy. Chemist. Chemist. Um, <laughs> <laughs> had to go to the chemist, and I Harvest was like, "Why?" And he was like, oh, "I just gotta get Xanax." And I always thought Xanax were like just a party drug. <laughs> I didn't realize. No, it's for anxiety that yeah, just yeah. kind of turned into a party drug. I and he, I was like, "What? Why are you getting this?" And he's like, "Oh, for my anxiety." I was like, "Wait, you? Have it? What the fuck is going on?" I never liked Xanax as a party drug. Really? Why? Here, let me forget the high I'm about to feel. I want to remember the high. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, what, what kind of buzz is You just kind this? of forget everything and black out, and that's how you don't have anxiety anymore. Oh, you really? You just fucking don't remember anything. But what if you take it for, like, actually take it for anxiety? I don't know. I always took it for pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> I guess in a small dosage with uh, crippling anxiety, it could even you out. But I always just chill you. Yeah, just chill you out because uh, yeah. it's just, it's a fucking opioid. It's kind of hard to think about your problem when you're scratching your nuts with a bristle brush. <laughs> oh, really? Is it like that? Uh, yeah, it's just a, it's an opioid and you just, <laughs> you feel good. You must have ripped, you, you're definitely a bloody nuts. I had scabbed nuts oh, for yeah. about a year now, of my life. Now we're getting to the good stuff. I've already talked about that, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. I feel like I, I'm addicted. Do you know what I'm definitely addicted to? And I was talking to a guy last night. Chapstick and powdering my balls. Same thing, <laughs> I guess. No. <laughs> Chapstick, I get, you know. Because, like, it's dry weather out here. But powdering your balls. But you're a sweaty motherfucker. Yeah, I and, don't sweat that much. I don't when, need powder. Like, in Ireland, you wouldn't sweat as much. But then myself and my buddy moved to America, and I was like, I'm just sweating. He was like, get some baby powder, powder your balls. And every day since, we've both been addicted. <laughs> and if I leave the house and can't do it, I'm like, I have to go to CVS or something to get some baby powder. 
I uh, I've powdered my balls like maybe six times in my lifetime. Really? Yeah, it's just like eh. It's I don't unreal. sweat that much. It's not. A, it's even. It's just for comfort. No, I don't know. I'm addicted. I like start tweaking out. I do like like you know how your uh your fucking your chode or your gooch and your ass and your <laughs> balls are a little wet after the shower. I like to lay a towel on my bed and just sit like spread eagle and go like that, and so it absorbs the moisture and <laughs> flap my nuts up and just air dry. You guys do that? You fan it with a little little underwear, and you, I literally will. You know, fan my nuts hat. <laughs> and if I happen to be blow drying my hair, I'll blow dry uh, blow dry my asshole <laughs> and my ball sack. And I learned that from an Asian man at the YMCA when I was 12 years old. I'll never forget. Oh, nice. He, ma- he made you watch. <laughs> Come into Dude, the room. me and my buddy Dane Molina, we were like uh, middle school, sixth, seventh grade, must have been 11 or 12. And we walked in. You know, when you're a kid and you go into the men's gym, you always, you know what's about to happen, but you just naked, cock balls everywhere, but you're a kid and you're just, you're just not comfortable yet, you know? And then this one Asian dude, I swear to fucking God, he just puts his leg on the fucking bench like this (laughs) and he starts blow drying his nuts out. (laughs) And me and my buddy were like, like, that's a thing? (laughs) We're like, what the fuck? If you do that in Ireland, you'd be called gay. Yeah. And like you wouldn't be like, they'd be like, oh, you got to arrest that man for being gay. That's that bad over there. <laughs> it huh? used to be so bad. Jesus Christ. You, they wouldn't like actually, but I, I remember we were like in school and if you were taking a shower, everyone would leave all their clothes on almost because you, if you saw a dick, they'd be like, oh, you're gay now. And our teacher walked in one day. <laughs> really enlightened fu- people fu- on the island naked. of Ireland, huh? Jesus. And we were just like, is he a pedophile? Why is he naked? That's why when you were like, you know what happens? I'm like, nah, in Ireland, everyone's like, you wear swim shorts till you get to the shower. And then you hide. Yeah, damn. We didn't really shower here. Our showers were just not showerable. It looked like a beach bathroom type of shower. You're just like, oh, yeah. ah, I'm not getting in there. I think like two dudes in my high school took showers. Yeah, it oh, just yeah. didn't happen. Yeah. It's a different time, but it also they were just. It was like a prison shower at my high school. It's like <laughs> just a lot of sex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot, a lot of. Um. Wait, where were we going with this? Oh, and then also the YMCA locker room. I saw. The longest pair of balls <laughs> I've ever seen, and, really? and it's not a joke. Like to the old knee. ball, like close, dude. <laughs> really? Like to the like to the mid Jesus. thigh, what? and I'm not exaggerating. But the guy was like 80 and had a big old hairy moly bracket, like the the moles that you look like you could flick off, but they're oh, yeah, yeah, put, yeah. you know. Well, my family calls those moon rocks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Uncle Oscar has a lot of moon rocks all over his back. <laughs> oh, they're also known as, skin, they're <laughs> known as skin tags, but yeah, skin. in my uh, Mexican family, we call them moon rocks. <laughs> and we go, oh, look at his moon rock right there. <laughs> look at that big fat mole. <laughs> Anyways, those old balls and the Asian blow drying balls. and uh, They're lovely. I'm gay now. Do you know one time? Um, it's uh, so weird how, it, sorry, Ireland just, still to this day? No, 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 it's way different. No, yeah. like, uh, it was the first country to legalize gay marriage, I think. It's crazy how they <laughs> suppressed it for that long, and then they're the first country yeah. to be legal. They were like, like yeah, we'll yeah. kill you, we'll kill you, hey, it's legal. Yeah. Like, what? <laughs> I remember what were like, you saying before that, though? I didn't cut you off. Uh, oh, yeah, one time at like Tempe Improv in Phoenix. Do you know what I mean? It's so hot. Oh, Jesus, yeah. And like, I was just running out of baby powder, and I was like, nah, I surely have enough. And I ran out, and I was like, I'm just not going to do it. Today is going to be the day <laughs> in the hottest place in the world. Yeah. So we go, and we're sitting in the green room, and I'm just pulling at my balls. I'm just like, I'm not used to this yeah. at all. And I'm like, I can't go on stage be pulling at my balls. Sure you can. <laughs> like, <laughs> they just won't hear your jokes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so then, uh, oh, Zach's brother was there, and he was like, do you want me to go get your baby powder? And I was like, oh, man, that'd be unreal. So before the show, and he comes back and he's like, I couldn't get your baby powder, but I asked the manager here and he said, why not use kitchen flour from, from <laughs> the 
kitchen. Oh, Jesus And I was Christ. like, all right, that's the only option. And I was wearing all black. We should have just done sugar and <laughs> sticky nuts. <laughs> so I go into the bathroom and I just like pour a little beacon of flour down my pants on my balls. But it doesn't stick like baby powder sticks. <laughs> this just went down my whole <laughs> pants. And next minute I hear my name being called out. And I'm just like, fuck. And I'm just slapping. I'm covered in white. And I walk on stage <laughs> and there's like white puffs coming out of my pants. <laughs> and everyone's like, is he on drugs? What's happening? <laughs> he stuffed <laughs> cocaine down his pants and it's leaking. Jesus Christ. I mean, just fucking have wet nuts, you know? Flour. It's not wet nuts. It's this, uh, It's just the mental, ah, oh, they're, they're itching me. I know. They're I'm not itching. It's just God punishing me. Yeah. You're a dumb dumb. Oh, another thing. In Ireland, the, like, the, the gay bars used to be fucking called somewhere like The Other Side or Taboo. They, so they were like, ah, oh, you're going to The Other Side? <laughs> Be like, I'd be a gay bear, but they also would have really good drink deals. <laughs> but you had to be gay to go in there. Yeah. So, like in college, me and my buddies would go up there. You get like three drinks for three fucking euro or something. <clears throat> the bouncer would be like, Are you gay? And we'd be like, Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Give me the deal. <laughs> Here, watch this. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I suck the dick for a discount, but I'm not gay. <laughs> then eventually he was like, you know, the drinks are the same price at the bar next door. We were like, ah, sure. <laughs> we are like, ah, we'll stay here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was the first. Now it's this gay's Christmas. Everyone's out and about. Good. That's <clears> the way it should be. That's uh, why I moved to West Hollywood. To be straight. <laughs> <laughs> I do find the billboards in West Hollywood are funny. How gay they are. Like, oh, my insane. God. You just see. Yeah, it's so funny because the, all of our lives and throughout America, you just see uh, advertising objectifying women, but not in West Hollywood. You just see a fat ass. You're like, ooh, and you're like, oh, there's hair in it. Damn. <laughs> it's an <laughs> yeah. alsy bum, just a big fat man ass. Or like just a big crotch shot. You're like, damn it, I have a boner. <laughs> 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 you got me. You got me. I saw this one that was like a... By Trader Joe's, it was just two gay dudes. Like, they look naked, but you only see them from the waist up. And they're just arms around each other, and it just says, why not? <laughs> why not? Yeah. I seen that. Uh, I was like, why not be gay? I don't get this. <laughs> <laughs> there, did you see the squirt one? <laughs> no. There's a billboard, and it, it's a it's a app like Grinder. Grinder is Tinder. I know what you guys know, but maybe the world doesn't know. For those of you that don't know, Grinder is like Tinder, but for men... And then they have a new one called Squirt. Oh, really? <laughs> and it's it just has two dudes making out, and it has like a, the drip drip uh, emoji, and it's so funny. I'm <laughs> like, God bless America. It's just, but it's not... just so dope that you could just be like Squirt. Yeah, but there was one on Sunset before. It was just like a baby sucking a mom's tit. And it, just and it had an X over it. No, no it just I'm said just uh, jealous, America. It just said Jenna's we, question mark. And it was for like a, a cougar website, Cougar Life. What? Yeah, it was <laughs> that like, doesn't make sense. It was a baby sucking a tit, <laughs> and it said jealous, as if though you want to suck an old, older lady's tit. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, I mean, uh, <laughs> I guess we're still talking about that advertisement, so it worked. But uh, That's what I was just uh, maybe suck. they should just have an attractive older woman and be like. No, I guess you're talking. No, nah, yeah. Nah, it's we like want a baby feeding. Chaz Dean. <laughs> Do you know Chaz Dean? Yeah. He's hilarious. Those billboards? <laughs> yeah. Chaz Dean is a hairstylist that has billboards all over Hollywood, and it's With just him face. looking like a lion. <laughs> yeah, he does look like a lion, doesn't he? Yeah. Like a does. gay lion. Yeah. <laughs> um, so powdered balls, huh? It's so funny how America is like land of the free... And then in certain parts of the country, it's like land of the free America, free country, but you can't be gay, you can't get abortion, and you can't feed your child in public. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, but weird. we're land of the free. And then in other liberal cities, it's like fucking 
squirt, squirt, yeah. and fucking mom sucking titties. I just would love to see those billboards go up or like, in a conservative, conservative ass town. Yeah. Oh man, like, what was that one? The syphilis typhoon or syphilis tsunami? Yeah. It's coming. STD billboard syphilis. Syphilis. <laughs> Shit. See, what's wrong with I you? I got talk. syphilis. Yeah, you got syphilis. <laughs> go to the doctor. <laughs> Um, yeah, it was, it was a again. wave, right? Yeah. And the, it said the syphilis tsunami is coming. <laughs> Shit. If they were in Ireland, there would be riots on the streets with all women complaining. Yeah. And priests and nuns are like, the country. Why are women complaining? Isn't syphilis predominantly men? Oh, I just spent mm-hmm. old people. Old people? <laughs> Did you just come out of a coma? What oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Old people, women. <laughs> what are we I? talking about? <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, were you man. just back? Were you just in the past saving I people? Was, <laughs> I was. I, I time travel. Have you told that story? <laughs> where I time travel? No. So, like, we go to a diner, and sometimes we'd look over the table, and Craig's just staring at the wall, yeah. blanked out. And our buddy Chris is like, I think when Craig blanks out like that, he goes back in time to, <laughs> to save children. <laughs> At least I'm a hero. And then he yeah. snaps out of it. And he's like, potatoes. I'm back. <laughs> and I'm like, old people. <laughs> I just repeat the last word that said to pretend like I'm caught up in the conversation. But really, I was zoned out, <laughs> dying in my mind, staring at space, going. I love seeing you beat yourself up, <laughs> I hate it, man. I wish I could just fucking. Yeah, I, I do it too, but I do it on my own. <laughs> Whereas you do it in public, you're just like, <laughs> I can't hide it. I can't hide anything. I'm the worst. I'm the worst liar. You have no idea anything. I'm like, literally, like a comedy, like a movie. You know, a comedy movie. Like, did you did you get high? No. <laughs> like, I can't even. Fucking hide it if my life depends on it. I think Jesus. I feel I, I think Irish people are good liars. I think I learned how to lie in confession. Cause our priest be like, What did you do wrong this week? And you're not gonna tell him the truth. He's like, Oh, it's between me and you. Yeah, like, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right, buddy. I read your blog. <laughs> I just be like, I read the news later. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> the news letter. So apparently some guy's been Whacking it to syphilis typhoons. <laughs> <laughs> syphilis. Syphilis tsunamis. <laughs> but like no one would tell the priest. So we'd just be like, well, I had the same confession every week. Uh, I told my mom no when she asked me to do uh, like clean the house. I was like, no, mom. Uh, I kicked my brother in the stomach. And my dad said something. I said, whatever, dad. <laughs> and then he was like, ah, you've been a bad boy. And I was like, I have father. And he's like, go out there and pray. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad I didn't grow up in Ireland, you know? Yeah. It's so intense. And That's then every day, like at, at six o'clock news, all the TVs would have it on. And they had like, what is it, the Angeles? Where like a, a bell would toll and everyone, they'd show it on TV. People were like talking, going about their daily life. A guy in a farm, like mowing the field, whatever he's doing, plowing. And then you'd hear the chime of the bell and everyone would go, and they'd like take a moment to pause and think of God. And everyone would just be like, dong. Was that a commercial or was that a real life? Real life. Nice. Every day at six. And everyone's like, as if so you're having a cup of tea and you'd be like, ah, blessed be your father. And then you go there around your day. It's fun times, lads. Fun <laughs> times, that's why we drink a lot, have a lot of shame. Oh, man. Don't know what anxiety is. <laughs> anxiety is just like, ah, oh, that's God punishing you. No. <laughs> Dude, you pray it away. Ten prayers. We gotta end the podcast. (laughs) 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 Or else you flagellate. Trying me? That reminds me of like a Stephen King film. Yeah, Yeah, I swear to God, I'll show you. You, Can you put a clip on the video? It's funny. They'd be like, people be like walking past each other in the street, and they'd all go. (laughs) That's some Stephen King horror movie shit right there, dude. (laughs) It's funny. That's that's how we are. That's the way we are now, Craig boy. <laughs> I'm time traveling again. I zoned down minutes ago, <laughs> and I said commercial. 
<laughs> oh, man. You know, one day we're all going to die. It's fair. True. It'll all be over. <laughs> the time traveling, the anxiety, but like, <laughs> but listeners like, boy, Craig got really <laughs> sad. <laughs> on Is he all right? I hope there's an episode next week. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's gonna fucking end it. <laughs> Do you know what's hilarious too? Not hilarious, but kind of funny. What? Like, um, <laughs> this is, it's not hilarious, but it's like suicide is really high in Ireland. And divorce is really low. Like the lowest in the <laughs> world almost. Jesus. So they won't get a divorce. They'll just kill themselves? <laughs> hey, but the sanctimony of marriage, you can't break that. But then what's even worse is that like there's no like people here to shoot themselves in the head or something. There's no guns like hanging around in Ireland. So you got to go like hang yourself. <laughs> so you got to go buy rope. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> rope sales are booming over there. <laughs> and then imagine imagine the, the poor guy at, at, at the hardware store being like, What's <laughs> this for? <laughs> no, dude. You fucking hauling some hay or what, man? Or what? It's, like, it's usually old. Sometimes there might be an old woman working at the hardware store. Imagine like following her while she's tottering down the aisle. Yeah. I think it's over here. What if they really were going to haul something and then the old lady made them so depressed they <laughs> changed their mind and they're like, fuck it. I don't want to. Or imagine you're buying rope and you're like, you thought it was a swipe pin and it was like, ah, insert your card and you're like, I just want to kill myself. <laughs> just let me kill myself. Oh man, this, this, is, <laughs> this is bad, man. Let's talk about plants again. We got to bring it back up. <laughs> Don't kill yourself. <laughs> My, uh, I love seeing your face. <laughs> it's a scary world we live in. Your can, career can end over a decade-old tweet. Not end, <coughs> but, you know, be affected. But my dad's uh, thought of suicide is, like, whenever anybody kills himself... He calls them like a pussy. What an asshole. <laughs> and I deep down, I think because he's wanted to kill himself for 50 years. <laughs> but he won't do it because of kids and shit. Uh, he's just and jealous. he's like, oh, that fucking pussy. That's like, <laughs> I saw deal. there was a dude on the news today. He was like one of the biggest uh, gay conversion therapists. So he'd like try and make people who are gay. He's like, oh, we're going to make you straight. And that was his whole thing. And he came out like, oh, yeah, I'm gay. <laughs> it's always the case. It's insane, isn't it? Did you see that study? I'm going to completely butcher this, but I believe it was MIT or it was a, it was a, it was a prominent fucking school. Mm -hmm. And they took a uh, study of a, a group of homophobic men and women, and they put sensors on their brain and their dick and or vagina, and they flashed images of sexy men and women. And night, like, it was unreal. I forgot the exact statistic, but it was like 95% or higher that anybody who was homophobic when they were showed uh, images of your man and it was a sex, you know, a sexy man, buff man, whatever, their fucking dick would get <laughs> hard man. and their brains would go off really? the Richter. Yes. That high? Yeah. Oh my God. So Jeez. if you're homophobic, just suck a dick <laughs> <laughs> and you'll be good. Yeah, that's um, nice. And I just thought that was so funny. And of course, of course, anybody who is that anti anything mm. deep down has a buried secret to where if you just would embrace it, you'd be free and wouldn't be such a hateful fucking yeah, piece of not. shit. Cause it's and like, we could evolve and vibrate higher to, and then we could fly. There's a, <laughs> apparently there's like 700,000 people in America who've gone through that therapy. A lot of people, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. so insane to me. It's just and like, the dude, like, oh my god, just be gay. Who cares? Besides, maybe your culture and your family. <laughs> 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 but fuck them, you know. Just fucking move to WeHo. I'll have you in my studio, and we'll stare at the wall. <laughs> you, this dude's called the Godfather of conversion, or something. He was that high up, and he's like, also known I'm as gay. The, <laughs> the Godfather of conversion, also known as the fucking 
I don't know. Almost. Come on. Spit so <laughs> I was up. trying to, and I lost it. I had something that went away, and I was like, uh-oh. Where'd it go? Go on. Let's try. I want to see. Godfather of conversion, also known Godfather as... Godfather of gay? <laughs> Gog. It's just so funny. Oh, Any Gog. Bo- Good old Gog. Good old... No. <laughs> Godfather of gay. This train has sank. <laughs> Ship has sailed. <laughs> 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 I can't even get American sayings correct. This train is, <laughs> this train is off the tracks. This locomotive is kaput. <laughs> kaput. Kaput. Ah, oh, this train has sailed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get anything right. <laughs> Fuck, I'm sweating. I need some powder. <laughs> oh, no. I got some flour. <laughs> I got some, uh, some flaxseed e- meal. <laughs> Yeasty balls. Have you ever had flaxseed nuts? <laughs> <laughs> I got some chia seeds. <laughs> <laughs> <Ch-ch-ch-tia>. <laughs> do you know whenever you're struggling you should go back to what snacks you have <laughs> i always do <laughs> what's that big fruit you used to take when we were going on the road up to um oxnard was it no <clears throat> we were i took dr- it several cities <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> pomelo delicious pomelo it's like a grapefruit but sweeter it's a bit expensive <laughs> and the, the skin the rind is about that thick but it is delicious. <laughs> but we be in a car driving. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> Just wants? pull out this fucking beach ball fruit. Does anybody want a pomelo? At first I did that just because I'm a weirdo and I wanted to bring a snack. And then I got made fun of so hard for bringing a pomelo <laughs> <laughs> that I was like, I'm bringing a pomelo from now on. And I always had a fucking pomelo. It's pity it was the same one over a year. They last a long time. <laughs> 149. <laughs> The godfather of conversion. The godfather. I'm the godfather of prices. (laughs) This is is a gibberish show from now on. Oh, Oh, why don't we tell the story when uh, you were trying to get me more shows with Jamie Masada, the owner and booker of the Laugh Factory. And I went, no, (laughs) I uh, misunderstood the situation. So I was chatting to this, the owner of the Laugh Factory. The Laugh Factory owner, Jamie Masada, and he's chatting him up. And he was like, he was saying, I should, oh, we should get you on more shows. And I was like, yeah, you got to get myself and Craig on more shows. Let's do this and that. Selling us like I was border agents. And I was like, Craig, come back and get us more shows. Craig comes back in and I was like, yeah, we were going to do a midweek one, maybe. And Craig just walks in. He's like, no. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I didn't understand the situation, right? I was like, get us more shows. And you're like, no, oh, okay. <laughs> I went, no. And Jamie would look at me like, did you say no? I was like, okay. Uh, yeah. All I heard was, I misunderstood. I heard him saying like, we'll get you on the weekday shows. And I thought it meant weekdays over weekends because I get like maybe one or two weekends a, a month. And then in my head, I was like, no, the weekends are way better. I didn't know that he was getting additional shows or trying to. And I was like, no, I don't want more shows. I don't want more money, more exposure. I'm one of the best clubs in the country. No. And yeah, we, I fucked that up. And then we went outside and I was like, I explained to you. I was like, all right, this is what happened. I was getting us more shows. And you're like, that never happened. And I just denied it. I was like, no, nope. I never said no. I said, no, Yes. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, I hope I get booked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, what if he was like, man, Craig was an asshole. He just told me no. Imagine he was like, oh, I like him. Yeah. <laughs> like that he know, says no. You never know. Yeah, he never known this fucking town. Mm. It's weird. How long have we been doing this? Uh, 40 minutes. I've been in my head for 40 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> 
Are we meant to tell some fucked up story? Are we told enough? Are we? I guess so. How long are the episodes usually? About an hour. Oh, really? So we're struggling? You got a good shit in your pants story? We're not struggling. We This felt vibrant. I just get it in my head. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got a good... Oh, I ruined... No, I kind of... I, I ruined my tonies. I must die before. A boo story. Over a hat. I think I might have to go back wearing hats. I used to wear hats all the time. Yeah. And it was like my 21st birthday. And uh, in Ireland, that's a huge thing. So you just... For some reason, though, you go to a different pub than you usually go to. Because you're like, oh, it's a special occasion. We all like this pub, but let's go to that fancy <laughs> one. So dumb. I hate that we do that. So we all go to this fancy pub. A lot of people come. I get hammered. This dude who I half know is like, you should go to the strip club for your birthday. So I leave my own party. Fucked. We go to this new strip club, which is depressing. It's all Eastern European women in this tiny little <laughs> room. They're all like, save me. We're like, yay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of come too. And I'm like, I got to go back to my party. So we're walking back through like the city, Cork. And I'm playing this hat where I'm throwing it. In fr- I'm playing this game where I'm throwing my hat in front of me. And then I find it and I'm like, I found a hat. Dumb, but I was drunk. So we're walking over a bridge and I threw it. And a gust of wind blew it into the river. And I was like, it's my favorite hat. And we were like hammered. Oh, no. And I was like, I'm saving you, hat. And I just kind of jumped off the bridge into this like big river. And I hit it like a fucking sack of potatoes. I was just like, oh, no. This was a mistake. Yeah. <clears throat> my buddy's like, you fucker. He's not as fucked as me because I've just been doing shots all night. Jumps in. Another guy walking by jumps in. They save me. Pull me to the side. There's like a big crowd. We're all on the side. And uh, everyone's like, ah, oh, spluttering water and shit. And next minute I see my hat somehow floating by me. I was like, I'm saving you a hat. <laughs> <laughs> I roll into the river again. It's like a fucking tough river. And I'm trying to swim upstream. Two other like strangers jump in. There's now five of us on the side. They were like, this guy's got to go home. I'm like, where's my hat? Take me home to the dude's house. He's having a party. I'm asleep like in a fucking spare bed. Some dude comes in and shaves off my eyebrows and the back of my head. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. So I wake up in the morning and uh, I'm going to America two days later for the summer. But I got to go to like a Christmas dinner. And I go there and my whole family thinks I've like leukemia. Because I'm missing eyebrows. And I didn't want to shave my head. So they're like, why is the back of his head shaved? My brother was like, yeah, he had to get his head inspected <laughs> for leukemia. I just want to say, uh, <laughs> God, you're dumb. No, uh, if you shave somebody's eyebrows off, that's like a fucking knifing offense. You should yeah, get stabbed yeah. one time in the gut. Yeah, I agree. for shaving a man's eye, a woman, whatever, whoever. Oh, if you shave anybody's eyebrows off, you need to get shanked one time. Yeah, I agree. My body as well, because you look the most, the creepiest. Yeah. Pa- I had to pencil in eyebrows. You can't get fake eyebrows. You can't wear a hat. I got bumped up when we were flying to America because they thought I was sick. They were like, ah, oh, this poor fella. Well, then I take that back. God <laughs> bless the man that shaved your eyebrows off. I've never flown first class. My buddy, though, was like, we're going to get that guy back because he found out who did it. And like four years later, we were at an after party. <laughs> four Randy- years later, we <laughs> killed the man. <laughs> we were at an after party and... Ireland, and we walk in and we see this dude on the ground fucked and we're like here we go yeah <laughs> it's time but i rose gone he had a beard we shaved his beard <laughs> shaved an x in his we head. shit in his <laughs> eyelids <laughs> <laughs> yeah we got him good but then the next he didn't wake up <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> i think he was like he wasn't on the run but he was he was in hiding for four years if he heard we were coming back to a party, he'd leave the party. Yeah. He's like, I know what they want to do to me. They're not getting my eyebrows. Yeah, <laughs> we've done fucked up shit. Uh, I already talked about it, right? Where I duct taped the dude's yeah. eyeballs shut. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't shave anything. <clears throat> yeah, that's better. That's better. It just hurts. One one pull. <laughs> Did it rip it off? I mean, a little bit, but he, he, uh, he still look, had it. He didn't look like a ghost. He didn't look, yeah, Jesus. Um, damn, you what jumped in the river? You made me remember uh, I was shit faced in New York <coughs> with my buddy Mike, and as it was uh, the first and only time I've 
been to New York thus far, but uh, we went across the Brooklyn Bridge and I was hammered and I climbed on top of a steel beam. And uh, this is the walking bridge. uh, Yeah, this this is above the freeway, the bridge. And uh, it's not super high, but it's like probably 50 feet high. It's like high enough to where if I fall, I'm probably breaking dozens of bones yeah. and if i land on my head i'm dead but and, and i'm shit faced and I, I i crawl on the beam and i sit on it like this and i pose for a photo and he snaps it and that was my myspace profile <laughs> probably still is i haven't logged in for a decade but uh that would have been and nasty. he's just shaking his head like don't do it you're an idiot i'm like take the fucking picture mike <laughs> this is happening this is after we snuck into scores the Famous, expensive strip club. It's probably the oh, most famous strip I club in America. There. And uh, yeah, I just was into that shit. Like literally the bouncers there are all fucking football players who can snap my neck with their thumb and his neck. And like he got distracted by a group and I just was like, come on, Mike. And we went around him literally like in a movie. Like he oh, looked yeah. right and we <clears throat> snuck behind him. And we snuck in, and and it's just like we would, we would, I, I no, like don't, because it was like forty bucks to get in or something, and I don't even think they would let us in, so we just snuck in. But like in hindsight, I'm like, that guy would have killed us. <laughs> One punch would have sent us to the ER, both of us. <laughs> One <laughs> joint. <laughs> That's how big these motherfucker were, and we're shit faced, not getting in. And we sneak in, and we got away with it. Does, does that place? It's like a bear. Do you remember? I don't remember. I think it, was there. it was a decade ago and I was hammered. But yeah, it, all I know is it's like a super fancy strip club where f- all the finance guys go to drop oh, no, 200 grand on fucking champagne room. And there I am with like 20 bucks. Like it didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work out for us, you know? Because they also have, I, I, if I remember correctly, I think they have like scores money. Like, it's like Chuck E. Cheese money, <laughs> oh, where really? you gotta put in hundred dollar bills to then get out score dollars. That way, you fucking can't leave without oh, yeah. getting rid of all this. Yeah. It's such a fucking scam. It's like, yo, men are gonna lose enough money in here. There's titties, you know. Like, let them just lose an honest amount, you know. Yeah. Like, they, but they're like, no, we want the last thirteen dollars, you know. Because he's like, ah, oh, yeah, that's a wise move. Yeah. I got. I've, I used to live by Body Shop on Sunset. Yeah, and like usually things close in Ireland later, so like everything would end at one thirty, and I'm like, "What? Wow, it's only getting going." But I didn't know anyone for after parties, so I just go home from the pub and I was like, "I have no friends. What can I do?" So I used to get drunk and then go to Body Shop, and I'd just be in there. And uh, you still are always in there. No, I never gone out. <laughs> I only went because it was summer open. Yeah. And I made buddies with like the main bouncer, Jim. And he'd be like, oh, yeah, come on in, Irish fucker. Yeah. But I'd be in there. <laughs> but I didn't want to get dances and like spend all my money. I just wanted to be uh, out and about and around people. Yeah. And like chatting. And this girl was like, come on, honey, let's have a dance. And I was like, nah, maybe later. She's like, why? And I was, she was like, where are you from? And I was like, Ireland. She was like, oh, are you a priest or something? Is that why you can't get a dance? And I was like, that is exactly why. <laughs> <laughs> it's against my religion to get yeah. a dance, but it's okay to be in here. <laughs> yeah, so then I was like, she was like, you're really a priest? And I was like, ah, I'm more of a trainee priest. And this is my last summer before I get like official. And then she's like, wow. And I was like, yeah, they just want us, they send us away to get our sin out of us. <laughs> so the summer before I was like sent to Vegas to do drugs and rock and roll and this year <laughs> it's uh, alcohol and sex. And they're like, oh, that makes sense. So then I used to be the trainee priest up there. And I just walk in and they're like, do you want to dance? And I'd be like, oh, I'd love to. But I can't be one of one. I can't be one of What an extravagant lie to avoid <laughs> paying money. <laughs> oh, yeah. But you should have just said, I'm broke, all right? Like, wait, no, I because I wanted to try and pull them still. Yeah. I wanted to be, I don't want to be like, oh, I'm poor. So then, but sometimes they'd be hammered in there and they do like, uh, private or no they'd, they'd call a dude on stage and then all these women would come out like a bachelor sometime I just heard them going come on up here Mark come on up here it's your time to dance and I was hammered and I was like oh is that me I went up there and they did like a big 10 woman dance for me and I was just like yay 
<laughs> and then they were like, that's not the fuck. <laughs> and they kicked me out. And then one other time, they were like, they kept calling someone. And they were like, we need someone. The DJ was having a meltdown. He's like, someone fucking dance. Someone go out there and dance. And I was like, I'll dance. Yeah. <laughs> I went up there dancing. Kicked out again. I almost got in a fight with Suge Knight there. We were there and this chick came up and she was just like, you want to dance, honey? And I was like, nah, I'm all right. She's like, why? And I was just like, ah, I just prefer it off someone else. And I was there with buddies and she was like, fuck you. And she grabbed a drink and she started throwing drinks at us. And the bouncers came over. And while we were all standing up, Suge Knight and his like, goons came in and they sat at our table and we were like soaked. The table was soaked and we were like, oh, that's our table. And these dudes were huge. Yeah. And it was Suge Knight. But we were drunk and we were like, and he was like, no, it's not. It's mine now. We were like, no, nah, that's our table, man. And then they all just surrounded us. We were like, all ah, right, Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did I say my table? I meant your yeah. table. I remember being so hammered. I was I was walking out and I kept going like this. Yeah, I got it. Which is dumb now that I realize. They're like, we better shoot him because he's going to shoot us. <laughs> You're like, no, no, I'm Irish. Did <laughs> <laughs> I met her and I was a priest? <laughs> oh, so then, all right, one time I pulled a girl that worked there. And uh, after saying, she was like, oh, do you have to pray or what happens now? And I was like. I gotta say some Hail Marys and our fathers. <laughs> oh, and she was like, Oh, I better go, so I'm sorry. And I was like, Oh yeah, thanks. You know I just gotta talk to God. <laughs> oh man. And I'd be like, You're going to hell, dude. While she was getting Straight dressed, to I hell. was like our father, father or our memory. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I just said. <laughs> say that again. Yeah, our father know. who our memory. <laughs> <laughs> our father who out there in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. I don't remember keep a couple going, words. Keep going, keep going. For each of good. us are in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> keep going. <laughs> uh, in the name of the Father and the sinner, forever and ever, our Father who art in heaven. <laughs> oh, heaven. <laughs> our Father who art in heaven. <laughs> you can tell. I went to church for like 12 years. <laughs> Not one fucking word of it sunk in. Troy, um, I was an Mary. altar boy for a decade. <laughs> I don't know Hail Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, save the human race. I don't. I don't, I don't know, dude. <laughs> I, I remember too. Uh, in Ireland, my dad used to like teach me new prayers. He was like, "You're gonna like this one." <laughs> no, I don't like the first one. I don't like any of them, dude. I went. I was an altar boy for ten years. It was me and my sisters. I got two older sisters, and we all were altar boys and altar girls. And we would get paired up together sometimes. This is siblings carrying the cross and the two candles behind the priest at church. Uh, yeah. And then we would do that. And then we'd sit behind the priest while the whole church congregation watches the priest. Siblings. We were like this, like, oh, yeah. get off of me. <laughs> fighting. My Nana would be like, stop it. She'd like, I'll give you candy. If you, we'd be fighting farting we and then there was a bathroom behind the the ceremony the altar whatever and then we'd all go together because we we're just siblings you know <laughs> i'm like this i'm like seven or eight and they're 12 13 14 you know it's yeah. and then what we didn't know is the walls are paper thin so we're like <laughs> In the bathroom, fighting like, scoot over, don't touch me, get out of the way, oh, that stinks, like just fighting, and the whole church could hear, and then followed by a flush, you know, <laughs> and then we come back out like, la, 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 and, the, and then uh, they paired us up together maybe two or three times, and then that was over, they'd be like, maybe two of you, but not all three, that's illegal, and uh, I would be uh, like, Lighting matches. I was so bored and those matches everywhere in church to light oh, all the yeah. candles. That's this is fun, behind isn't it? the priest <laughs> while the ceremony's happening or sacrilege or whatever the fuck you call sacrilege. it. <laughs> and then I would be playing with matches and then there, there would be the choir in front of us and I'd be putting stuff in all the old ladies' <laughs> hairs with the girls. Because I was eight in fucking church and you're not supposed to be there. It's boring. Go fucking run a lap, kid. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, so far after this podcast <laughs> the fucking 
church industry hates us. The transgender uh, community hates us. Uh, <laughs> the gay and conversion. the gay conversion community hates us. The conservative, everybody hates us. But really, uh, <laughs> I'm down for whatever besides you hateful fucks. Yeah, <laughs> all the strip club, strip <laughs> club community hates us. They go, those men are liars. <laughs> you want to change your sex? That's fine. If you want to be gay, that's fine. If you want to hate on gays, that's not fine. Cause you're gay. Do you know it's weird too, right? And you hate yourself. <laughs> Just to get you out of whatever hole you're going in. Do you use the f- phrase in Ireland like, or in America? Touch wood. You're like, oh God bless, best of luck. It's or knock on wood. Touch, oh yeah, so we say touch wood. Yeah, and then I saw a dude one time for like good luck, and he's we were like playing a soccer match, and afterwards he's like, "Oh, I hope we win the final." Touch wood. We're at a bar, and he touched it, and then he starts going like this. Yeah, that's called the wet willy. No, and I was like, "What the fuck is he doing?" And my buddy's like, "Oh yeah, that's it. where he's from. That's like a superstitious thing." And I was like, "That's the dumbest thing I've ever seen." And then everything, next, every superstition in yeah. every other culture is the dumbest thing. No, but the next time I had a big, big exam in college, I was like, oh, I hope this goes well. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I started doing it for like <laughs> five years. Yeah. <laughs> Anytime I was like, oh, I hope I meet this chick and it goes well. During sex, I'd be like, oh, I hope she's enjoying this. Will you stop licking my table? <laughs> <laughs> uh uh, yeah, I guess I do the clock thing, eleven, eleven, and then you put your dick in the ashtray. <laughs> 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 you guys do that one? No. Yeah, it burns. <laughs> I just fucking no, blind. I don't know. I do the clock one. I do. Uh, I don't think I do knock on wood anymore. I do really? the eyelash one. <laughs> make a wish. I don't do that. I used to have a bed where it's like if I'd walk into a room, just say it was a kitchen with two entrances if i walked in one i'd have to walk back out at even if i was going to the other side just for superstitious i was it was so dumb yeah if you i think if your brains just let idle it'll just start like all right let's fuck this guy up <laughs> he's wasting his life let's torture the fuck out of him i'd walk in i'd be like where's my baby powder i walk <laughs> back out <laughs> ah dumb so fun times <laughs> What? (laughs) It's been good, though. We had some good moments. (laughs) Sounds like you're breaking up. (laughs) (laughs) It's been good. Well, Mark, it's over now. (laughs) I can't talk to you anymore. Um, You got you got to do one little poop story where you shit your pants on a date or something. Um, I know you got about 50 of those. No, I don't think I've shit my pants. Yes, you have. Oh, one time. Oh, one time. Oh, yeah. I was playing. Did you say shit in the pants? <laughs> oh, yes, one time. Um, I definitely pissed. I used to piss the bed all the time. I don't want piss. That's not as funny. <laughs> hey, you know what's funny? I just realized, though, like, if I'm doing an Irish <clears throat> accent caught up in the moment, it's actually pretty good. But the second you tell me to do an Irish accent, <laughs> I go in my head and it switch it to like Jamaican. Go and on, I'm try like, it. Fuck. Jamaican's close to Irish, though. No, it's not. It is, yeah. It is? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> see? That could be either. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Edaba. Edaba, ooh. Um. <laughs> You sound more like a Klingon. You're not <laughs> even saying. Uh, no, ooh. that's Irish. You Irish. No, oh, you got to go through with it. <laughs> Is that good? That's pretty good. Say normal words and you might be good. <laughs> you, you, ah. <laughs> Give me a sentence. I need a sentence. I can't think of my go, own. You gotta I'll just go, grunt. You got to go through with it. Or else you got to go get through to with the it. Other side. You see, in America. <laughs> 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 Say this, oh, this train see, has sank. This train has gone to sank. This tra- this train has gone to oh. <laughs> <laughs> This is how my auditions go. No wonder my agent <laughs> never sends me out. I told him in the first meeting I ever had with an agent was like, "Hey, can I go on the audition with where I don't have to say any lines that I have to memorize?" And he goes, "What?" <laughs> He's like, "That's what it is." I was like. Oh, yeah, this isn't going to work out. (laughs) (laughs) I'll go do comedy for six years.
That's what I'm just, to me when they're like, oh, can you do an American accent? And I'm just like, why? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Because all the work is in English but or I'm American like, uh, slang or <laughs> ah, shit. American uh, slang or what's it called? American accent. There it is. <laughs> slang accent. What's the difference? Dialect. God damn it. But even if I go to an Irish audition here, like at this one time, I think it was two brokers. There was some show that my agent was like, oh, do you really need an Irish guy? And they love your look, so just the role is yours. So I go in, and it was something dumb like, oh, where's me bowl of charms? And I went in, <laughs> and they were just like, what was that? And I was like, what do you mean? They're like, your voice. I was like, that's my accent. They're like, oh, you're really from Ireland? And I was like, yeah. They were like, ah, no. What? Can you do like... That's an, racist. Yeah, they wanted like an American doing Irish. Oh. And then there was, I was like, ah. Uh, that makes sense. I want an American to be doing Irish, but not an Irish to be doing Irish. Yeah. And then they were just like, can you do Boston, Chicago? And then I think they gave it to like a black woman. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. You bomb so hard that they not only switch genders, but they, they switch race too. They're like, you know what? That guy was so bad. Let's go with a black woman now. He's gone. This white Irish prick. <laughs> <laughs> I almost got a... I had a role one t- or an audition. It was like for a cartoon where I was to play like a Irish leprechaun mouse. It would have been a dream job. Yeah. It would have been, You don't have... To, you can just show up like this. And you're like, ah, to be sure, who needs to be saved today? <laughs> what the fuck? But then they cancel the cartoon. That's good, man. <laughs> <laughs> Here we That's are good, in man. my studio you didn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy you didn't get it. That's good. Hmm. Oh, I don't think I've shot myself. Well, you're letting my fans down. I got a lot. I, of poop. I do have one, but like I was about twelve. It's not the same. My little cousin shit his pants at the Palace Verdes Mall when we were eating lunch uh, two days ago. <laughs> oh, really? And my sister started to film him, and he's like, stop it. <laughs> what happened, Vincent? Stop it. <laughs> Get the camera out of here. I think he's lactose, and he keeps drinking milk. Get, it'll get you every time. A little squirt, squirt. Um, what was your poopy, 12-year-old poopy? Um... Oh, I was just playing like a soccer game where it, it was like 10 of us and then whoever kept scoring and I was like, I need to shit. And they were like, no, nah, you're winning. You can't leave now. And I kept scoring and I was like, no, nah, I got to go. <laughs> no. And they were like, you can't know you're in the final. And I was almost crying. I was like, just let me go home. Time out. But they were older boys and they were like, you can't leave now. Don't leave Derek win. And I scored the winner and I just started running, crying. And I ran all the way <laughs> home in my shorts. And I was like, don't. And I just got to my house. And my mom just happened to be opening the door. And I just like burst <laughs> through her. And I got up to the top of the stairs and I clipped the top step. And I just flew my face and just started shitting myself. Oh, man. <laughs> and my grand was visiting. And she was just like, what are you doing? And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> don't look at me. <laughs> That's a good one. You you so not only were you falling, but you were shitting. Yeah. <laughs> that takes skill, man. That's uh, a double. That's a double down. Like my stomach did a hiccup, and it all just popped. You made me. Uh, I'm. I, I'm. You inspired me. I totally forgot about this one. But I was at soccer practice, and I was wearing boxer shorts and shorts, and I had to shit so bad. And uh, we were running laps, and I was like, "Coach, can I go? I gotta go." And he's like, "No, keep running." Like. I didn't know if, you know, you're a little kid. It, it, that was like the authority figure yeah, was yeah, like yeah. the law. It's like, I got to keep running. No, man, go to the bathroom because I shit and a log fell down my shorts and it hit the back of my calf and it left a little <laughs> skid mark. And I threw my underwear away and uh, I shit my pants and the grass. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> the coach is like, why did you let me know? I was like, I don't know. <laughs> but, and I shit my pants at practice. That's good. Playing soccer shit in Ireland? Shit my calf. Yeah, dude, like we used to play soccer, but after nights out, so everyone would be like half hungover, drunk. 
and people would be shitting on the side of the pitch during the game. The oh, whole Jesus time. Christ. <laughs> there was one time we were playing a game and our goalkeeper was like, I am so... Everyone would show up hammered on a Sunday morning at like nine o'clock after drinking all night. And this one time our keeper was like, ah, I can't play. And our manager was like, what do you need? And the guy just like, just give me a booze and I'll be able to play. She's like, I'm not giving you a booze, but here's a smear off ice. <laughs> Something like in the middle. So your man chugged it. And within five minutes, we looked over and they were attacking us. And he was just missing. And they <laughs> scored. <laughs> he? he was in the bushes. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> diarrhea. <laughs> he was just like <laughs> Wait, wait for me, guys. <laughs> <laughs> what a good goalkeeper. <laughs> <laughs> and then he starts yeah. screaming at us. He's like, there's only grass back here. Someone find me a dock leaf. <laughs> <laughs> so many, let me get one of those yellow cards. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a flag on the play? I need it. I need it. Uh, oh, man. <laughs> That's a good one. Shitting in the bushes and he gets squirt on. He lost the game. Yeah. He, he lost his dignity <laughs> and he lost the game. But we'd only like we'd only eleven players, maybe even ten. So he had to play. So he'd come back on. And he was just in goal <laughs> like fuck. <laughs> just standing there like this. We were like, all right, you gotta play on field. <laughs> What's the difference? He would be worse up there. No, but yeah, but if so, it's like they were just taking shots and he was just like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. Okay. Drunk with the shits. <laughs> He's like, you can't have him jumping around. Get all squirts. Oh, that was brutal. And then, we, and then a player show up late and uh, he was like, all right, I got to sub out. So we let him go. And we came back into the dressing room at halftime, and he like he was drinking the spirit off ice, and he'd he'd gone through been fucked, and he was drunk again. He's like, yeah, la. oh Jesus, <laughs> I remember those days. They, they scare me. Do, do you know what's funny? Never once did anyone ever say, ah, someone here has a drinking problem. We were all just <laughs> like, ah, this is the most fun ever. This is a great story. It's not a great story. <laughs> it is a great story. It's a dirty <laughs> life. <laughs> I miss my son's childhood because I was <laughs> drunk and hung over for all of it. That's sad. <laughs> nah. When you don't remember anything because you're hammered and drugged out. Sure, if you want to experiment, go ahead. But as soon as you start to do it every day, get some goddamn help. No, I never booze every day. You got a problem, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, denial. That never happened to any <laughs> alcoholic ever in the history of alcoholic. No, I don't have a problem. <laughs> he pulls a flask out of his breast pocket. <laughs> no, I don't have a problem. <laughs> mm. okay. Well, that's I think that's it. <laughs> How long has it been? Uh, an hour and seven minutes. Oh. That's pretty good. Yeah, We might need to edit out seven minutes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so that's perfect. No, you got to leave it all in. Leave it in. I can't. Well, I can't. I can't. I can't help if I don't know how to translate uh, my thoughts. You know what I mean? I, I don't, you got a kid. You didn't say anything bad. I didn't say anything bad. No. The whole moral of the story, I guess what I was trying to say is have a sense of humor uh, about it. The in in the communities, unless someone's being just downright fucking hateful, then fuck them. Anyways, uh, yeah, just laugh it off and be like, oh, seriously, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, you know. And that uh, that's all the whole shit I was just trying to say. That was it, a good accent. That was good, right? Yeah. It's, it's whenever now I'm not trying. Now if I try to do it again, it'd be fucking Haitian or some shit. It would um but <laughs> well, now that I've finished the podcast with uh, being racist, uh, subscribe, follow, and uh, be Haitian. <laughs> I don't know, man. I love everybody. Go do, your, go do you, baby. Thank you for listening. That's my big dumb Irish friend, Mark Hayes. <laughs> like, subscribe, subscribe, uh, and uh, rate. And uh, if you don't like it, then don't listen to me. I love you all. Have a good evening. That's it. Turn it off, man. Turn it off. <laughs>